figure. Look at that. Oh, Got look it. at that. Got look at that. <laughs> oh, would you? So the reason why the plastic doesn't catch fire and the water boils is because when we have our heat source, what happens is the plastic becomes a conductor of a heat. So it conducts the heat into the water. It doesn't absorb the heat. So that heat gets conducted into the water because water has such a high Pacific heat capacity. It takes 4.18 joules of energy roughly to increase the temperature of one gram of water by one degree Celsius. So the water will absorb all of that energy and the water will continue to absorb that energy until it reaches 100 degrees Celsius. Once that water reaches 100 degrees Celsius, it then continues to absorb the energy, not changing in temperature, as the water will change state into a gas. So the plastic won't ignite because plastic doesn't actually catch fire to around 400 degrees Celsius. And the same if you had a paper cup, this would also work because paper doesn't catch fire or ignite to around 415 Fahrenheit. So if you had an empty cup and you put it on the fire, of course it's going to ignite, it's going to catch fire. The whole reason here is because we've got water inside the cup. It's got such a high Pacific heat capacity, so it continues to absorb all that heat and it's using it to increase its own temperature. So this is actually the reason why it's so hard to burn bodies, because your body's full of water, so you actually wanna get rid of the water or rid of the blood from your body before you burn it. Follow me for more physics content like this.